All right, so when uh, this is part two of starting from scratch with Aptana 3. Now, for this particular class, so what we've done is we've made an HTML page. We have main, our main CSS, and they are linked. And so we can make sure we know that by selecting our HTML page and going to our preview. And here's what it looks like. So, you know, that doesn't look amazing or anything like that, but let's just make sure that our main CSS is, is working. Uh, one of the things we can do is simply just change an attribute. So I'm going to say background color. Um, I'm going to just say something incredibly simple. I'm going to say make the background color red. I'm going to hit save, go back to my preview, and you can see that that background is red. Okay, so I believe that, I mean, that shows that my CSS is working. But let me show you something else. So as I had said, we're making in the new, my new site folder has these documents. Well, let's say that we want to use something that already exists. Uh, so here's my new sites folder. And here is some project that I had done in the past. You know, something that you recognize, I'm sure. Uh, and let's say that this project, we want to, I'm going to control A, select all, and hit control C and copy all go over to my new site and hit control V and paste all of those in there. Now notice that my new site now contains all of these things. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to close these guys down for a second. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to go to one of my Parkland pages, Parkland Web Careers. It opens up this. I'm going to look for my style 5 double click that it opens up my style sheet if I have my page selected I can go into preview mode and I can see that page right here all set up and all looking beautiful I can see that everything works I can see uh, I've got my styles I can go back and forth and I can make changes now to anything and what's also nice is this uh, if there's some issues if there are some things that might need to be uh, might need to be uh, corrected. Let's say uh, let's say that I put in uh, a section. Let's say if I accidentally uh, put in uh, a closing bracket, and it gives me a warning right here. It says an unexpected. So there's something wrong with this line of code, and I would want to. Uh, know what that was so I could go back and I could I could check that and, and uh, obviously I would want to make sure that I had that uh, corrected so any little errors that you make um, you can you can um, you can fix now another thing is that once you've done a bunch of coding like this you can use something else that's quite helpful and that is up here under uh, under source you can say format and it will take your code and it will format it in a much more readable sense. This would be more of a standardized uh, look for what it is that you have. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot harder to do this on your own. So it offsets everything and uh, puts everything in, in the order and organized in a way that is very helpful. Okay. So um, this is how we can create our own web pages. This is how we can look and make sure that they're very organized. And this is how we can uh, uh, look at what, what we've got, preview it. Now one of the issues that one of the issues that Aptana has, and one thing that I, I can't get it to do very well here on this machine is preview it in an actual uh, browser. Uh, so I'm going to select my page. If I go up to commands and if I go down to HTML and I say open in running browsers or default browser or something like that, um, if I click on that, I've had a problem with it actually uh, doing it. Uh, and so it never really opens up in anything and so I don't ever actually see it working so I don't know what the deal is with that but I'm gonna try going command HTML open with default browser and the shortcut is control shift P 
I'm going to just see if anything happens. Now I assume it'll probably try to open it up in Internet Explorer or Firefox or something and um, nothing nothing actually happens. So that is one area that I I haven't been able to uh, to solve but that doesn't mean I can't see it in my browser I can simply go down to my folder where I have everything stored and I can find the proper page uh, bring this up so you can see it and the page that I'd want CS Parkland uh, web does I'll see web careers 5 then I could just say open with Google Chrome and I can hopefully see that it should load the page and I can see how everything works so that is one of the issues uh, that is one of the issues that I found I couldn't get to work properly um, with with Aptana Studio but for the kind of things that we're doing Aptana Studio works very 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 well and it has some nice features uh, there's a lot more features that you can look at uh, I'm not going to go into that because I'm certainly I don't know all of the features. But in the next video, I want to go through setting an F setting up the FTP. Of course, you can just FTP uh, like you would all your other files. You can just drag your FTP like through your FileZilla. Uh, obviously, if you are using FileZilla, like I'm using FileZilla. Um, if you already have that set up with your browser, then you could just redirect it to uh, the folder, and you're you're good to go. Uh, and so that sort of thing shouldn't be should not be a problem for you. Uh, if well, I use FileZilla, and it has some ways for me to to do some quick connects. Uh, so if I go if, if I if I connect to the my I have a different browsers, or I'm not different browsers. I have different files that I can get to, so I can go through, then I can go in over here and I can find uh, I can find my files and here's my new site so here's all the data uh, that has all the stuff in it so I can simply make my folder and move all that very 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 quickly so it shouldn't be a problem for you to to do that uh, with what with the way things are set up on your machine and so that in itself is super easy and uh, it makes everything just a whole lot better so using Aptana Studio for these projects will save you uh, a lot of work and hopefully it'll save you some money because you have options now that you didn't have uh, before. Alright, so work with Aptana Studio, give it some time. There are a lot of videos online that you can use. Uh, uh, different people make different, uh, like here's one about attaching your, uh, your CSS sheet. Uh, to your HTML and you can look at others as well so there's lynda.com has videos about it there's all kinds of stuff that you can look for and uh, learn more about it but but this will get you started on some of the basic elements that we're uh, that we're doing uh, in this class